So today, let's look at the IAE V2500 engine layout and how it compares to the Pratt & Whitney 110G gear table fan engine. Let's go. Welcome to this aircraft engineered and today we're looking at the engine that powered the Airbus A320. So we have got the IAE International Aero Engines V2500 which powers the current engine option A320s and we've got the PW110G, the Pratt & Whitney engines which powers the new engine option, the A320 Neo. So now let's take a look at the core of the V2500 uh, which is basically pneumatic ducts. Uh, uh, overheat and uh, fire detection sensing elements a bit of fuel lines we've got uh, some uh, bleed valves as well that's the ip check valve and this is the duct that takes in air from the engine uh, core to the air conditioning system uh yeah that's the prv the pressure regulating valve uh yes that's where you normally deactivate it if there's any fault of the prv but generally that we've got like of course uh, some components of the tape and case cooling um which which improves uh compressor co compressor performance i will explain that on another video but generally when you look at the core of the v2500 there is uh, basically just these pneumatic ducts so we go to the fan case area that's the a320 v2500 eec uh that's where most of the components are located around the fan case we've got the ignition exciter box the box may be located in the fan case area but uh, the ignition leads the obvious located in the core so generally as you, as you look at uh, the arrangement of the components we've got the dry and wet area i'll explain that later and basically this is a, the the dry area of the, the the engine so now we look at this the starter duct this is a starter pneumatic duct that brings in air to to, to start the engine the, the air could be coming from the avu bleed or from the other engine and it goes through this uh, pneumatic start valve and uh, that's where the air goes into um, the, 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 the pneumatic starter, uh, this uh, unit right here to start the engine. So basically this is accessory gearbox where you get the hydraulic pumps, uh, the IDG, the HMUs, the fuel pumps, ETC. So this is our uh, fan case area. You also have some uh, bleed valve uh, control solenoids that control the engine bleed valve. So now let's look at uh, the PW110G. Uh, this is uh, the oil tank for the PW uh 110g uh, this is a fan case area basically in the fan skin area this one is quite the opposite of the v2500 in the fan case area there's not much happening but a lot happens in the core and most of the components uh, as opposed to the conventional designs in most engines where by the the, the 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 accessory gearbox is in, is in the fan case area for the speed w uh 1000 the the accessory gearbox is located in the core so you got your IDGs, your hydraulic pumps, fuel pumps, they are all located in the core. So for you to access these, you need to open the thrust reversal cowl, which is a bit tedious for the for, for maintenance. So these are some heat exchanges as well for the, the cooling and um, for the cooling of the engine. So it's a bit tedious for maintenance, for, for any simple maintenance, and yeah, maybe probably like uh, replacing IDG filters, you need to open uh, the thrust reversal cowl. Uh, yes, as opposed to other engines whereby the access is simply in the fan case area So you don't need to open up the entire engine to do some simple maintenance tasks So yes, as you can see most components are located in the core area Literally everything is located in the core area Then of course, of course the most famous part of the the speed W110 that is the Fan drive gear system that's located on the spinner cone Anyway, we'll, we'll touch that later, but basically this is, we are now on the right side of the engine, you can see some pneumatic ducts. And then the special uh, aspect of this part is you've got the pneumatic start valve that's in the core of the engine. So literally the, the manual uh, access for this, uh, for the valve is on the thrust reversal cow. So basically that's the way you, you, you the, the drive will go through and uh, you left to connect it. I'll show you the access from the outside. Now let's move on. As we come down uh, at the bottom of the engine, you can see the, our pneumatic starter over there. And uh, that's a pneumatic starter. That's our fuel filter housing. That houses our fuel filter. And you can see the, the ducts, the bleed valves. Yeah, basically that's uh, our, our PW110 in the core. Uh, so how does this engine stack up uh, to the V2500? Well, the parking with the PW110G 
is 16% more fuel efficient compared to the V2500 and it's 75% quieter compared to the V2500. However, this engine has been on the news a lot these days uh, considering the high pressure compressor issues, some durability issues uh, and that pratted Whitney is working on and it has led to some grounding of some uh, airlines and airplanes and everything else. So that's our accessory gearbox once again. Now the true magic of this engine is happens inside the core. Now because of the gear type of uh, technology, the fan rotates at a separate speed from the low pressure compressor. So the compressors are rotating at the optimum speed. So you require late stages to reach a, 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 desired, a, a desired level of compression. This reduces the number of parts in the engine and uh, also lowers the maintenance cost. But then besides that, let's close the engine and see what happens outside. That's the gas parts and that's the area where we you connect our manual start tools to start the engine manually. Issues aside, this is an impressive piece of technology and an improvement from the V2500. So like and follow for more as we go inside these engines. Ciao.